Buddy or a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. Got mud on your face, big disgrace. Waving your banner all over the place. Hi guys, and welcome to the Cutting Room Floor podcast. I'm Laura, and I like all things Marvel, Murder, and Marine. And joining me each week will be my co-host Brian, um, and co-creator of this podcast, He is awesome, and what he doesn't know isn't really worth knowing. So let's get on with the episode. Welcome back to TCRF. Hi. Hey, how's it going? All right. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. We did it. We finally did it. And by that I mean we got to the end of Game of Thrones. Wee. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. It's only a short one this time, so not as difficult as getting through the other series. But um. <laughs> Speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah. No. What do you think? What do you think of this series in general, as a whole? I mean, ignoring the overuse of, like, twist shock moments for a second, did you enjoy it? Nah, it was alright. Better than the previous seasons? No. No? No, I... Like, it was fine. Hmm. But, like, I wasn't... I don't think I was as blown away as, like, other people I've spoken to. Sure. Um... Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> my my response to this entire series has pretty much just been, oh, stuff is happening now. Yeah, Brian likes this series a lot better because he felt that the previous seasons to date have left much to the imagination, taken too long to get anywhere. Oh, man. And just generally got a bit draggy. Pretty much. I, um... I zoned out somewhere in between season four and now, and at the start of season six, I hadn't missed anything. No. <laughs> like, that's the kind of level of the pace that we were at, to be honest. Um, but, um, you know, I can't really badmouth too much. Everybody loves it. Everybody in the world loves it. It's the only political thing that everybody in the world is watching, <laughs> yeah. except for that some guy in America who's got weird hair who everybody loves. But, um, I don't know, I was trying to make a Trump thing, but it didn't really work. Um, oh, sorry, I missed that. That's alright, you just gave me the funniest look. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, how, are we, well, how are we doing this? Well, um, we're going to do it, sort of, trying to do it sort of chronologically, I guess. Because, um, uh, the, you know, there's stuff to talk about in every episode, it's not really... I mean, we have literally just now just finished uh, the last episode, so that's going to be the one most fresh at our brains. But, you know, this podcast isn't, isn't just about the first episode, the last episode of the season. That yeah. would be a sort of a bit. Okay, you might have to refresh me. Yes, well, because I sort of... Because we are both in a, in a fun place right now because it's warm and we are both exhausted after having a really long, great, but long weekend. We um, went to the beach yesterday and it was really good and we got a bit sunburned but it was really good and we had chips on the beach and I was really happy because I got to be on the beach which is my favourite place in the world. It was pretty good. If the, that That's pretty much the catch up. We also had a family barbecue on Sunday. Oh, that was good. Was pretty good. Brian ate cheesecake and he shouldn't have eaten cheesecake. We're doing a, a sugar free thing at the moment, which is mostly just making us both sad. No, uh, uh, it's, I'm we're not, doing alright. I'm not sad anymore. I got through the four weeks and I'm fine now. I mean, I was okay without having a bit of cheesecake, but because it was homemade, I just wanted one. I know, but it like a... I can now lord it over you for a few weeks. Yeah. That <laughs> I, you had cheesecake and I didn't. Yeah. In the purpose of fairness, we both did have a little bit of ice cream. Uh, we did. Have, on the beach. We did have a little bit of ice cream on the beach. Because everybody in the world knows that calories on a bank holiday are all add up to zero. Our that's ice cream just... calories don't count. No, that's Especially right. when you're on the beach. Exactly. <clears throat> um, 
Well, like, I mean, this is, I guess, our big Game of Thrones episode in a way, because we re- we've only really br- briefly spoken about it slightly. Um, what do you think of Game of Thrones as a whole? I mean, I've pretty I, much given my opinion already. You know but... how much I love Game of Thrones. I've read all the books, I've watched all the TV series. Well, okay, as someone who's read the books and watched the TV series, what do you think about them? <laughs> I like, I really like the books. I wish he'd write them quicker, because I want to see where because obviously now they are completely just like you know they're going in completely different directions the tv series and the books so i want the book to come out soon so i can see where the book is going um but yeah i really like them both i think they have different strengths. Obviously, the books, you get a lot more in-depth, like, character. Um, well, a, a nice thing about the books, we should just point out, and no one has, has, if nobody has ever read them, um, they, um, they have, they're, they're not written in third person, like, managing everyone they're written in first person but um individual chapters f- are first person from a different character's perspective yeah i don't really know because i've not read them all i don't really know if it messes with time like what i mean not by that is re- no not really no like you're running you're running along the same time frame just with different so yeah. but like, <clears throat> so so like you don't you might occasionally go Slightly back in time, yeah. So like sort of... you might get a perspective of from two sides, like the Battle of uh, Blackwater. You get it from Davos and Tyrion, I believe. Sure. But like you don't really like. There's no like it huge. Do, it doesn't do that a lot. No, there's no like, that. and there's That's no good. like huge time jumps or anything. No, sure. Um, because. Quite often, the characters that they have are so, like, one of the book, and I can't remember if it was the fourth fourth or fifth book, it was split into two. Mm. So you had one section of characters, and then you had the second, so you didn't hear from, say, Jamie in one book, but then you had all Jamie's chapters sure sure so that one was the only one where you did jump back quite. yeah i guess they had a lot of events to replay yeah. from different angles but i like that like how the books are written and that kind yeah. of aspect of it yeah. and i am um, it's definitely a little more interesting than third person with this regard because yeah. you know again it's you know there are better pros and cons of third person first person whatever but um, if you can be first person and third person, yeah, jobs are good. But um, no, yeah, it is interesting where they are going with the with the series. So what my my kind of thing is, I don't know what the end game is going to be. Yeah, do you know what? Like, like well, there's not really going to be a happy ending, is there? Uh... Unless. <laughs> Unless they kind of all become happy families, which... I'm just assuming they're all going to die. I just, you know... To, what? The, the dragons will just appear and just kill everyone. The and then, White and then, Walkers are going to... And then the dragons will just rule the re- Westeros. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe White Walkers as well. Maybe they'll just so, be buddy buddies. Yeah, I'm not really seeing how like it's going to end at the moment. Or, because there's so much... There's so much going on... Yeah. That... I'm like, well, how... Because, you know, the next series is only going to be six episodes. Yeah. Unless they're going to be, like, two-hour-long episodes. Like, I don't know how they're going to fit it all in. Yeah, they're going to be quite long, I've heard. Yeah. yeah they're going to be longer than what we've seen. But, oh, well, that's uh, right, <laughs> But, um, I mean, we've already had, like, feature-length episodes anyway, basically. So Well, this was... Look, the last episode was, what, an hour and 20 minutes? Yeah. The mm-hmm. longest episode and... Personally, for me, it was too long. Yeah. I got bored halfway through. 
well, we, uh, as I say, we are struggling to stay alive right now. <laughs> like, I guess we probably, sh- we, we probably should have watched it when we were a bit more awake, but, um, <laughs> I've watched it twice today. Oh yeah, that's true. That's I, probably why you got bored. I'll and I did Well, no, I got bored the first time as well. <laughs> so. They had to round it up, I guess. Like, time has just gone out the window, as far as we're concerned in this season. Like, time... The... They are pushing time a lot and quicker, aren't they? It sort of... It sort of makes sense, but also... And that's what I think is one of the big problems for me. Is... Like, they're trying to push it, but then some of the timings are like, did that even make sense? So, Mm. prime example, last week's episode, when they're surrounded by White White Walkers... And the White Walkers are going to attack. In one one night, um, Gendry managed to run back to... Behind, behind the wall first and then to wherever Daenerys was. No, so he ran back to the wall. Yeah. They then sent a raven to Dragonstone. Which, how far away is that from the wall? Well, it <laughs> is... Yeah. You know, they don't have, like, Teleport- email, do they? T- teleporting ravens. So, like... So in, what, basically, like, eight hours, he ran all the way back. And they came they all the They sent way a there. raven and then all her dragons came back. And I'm just like... Mm, yeah. Time frame. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't make much sense. And also, like, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this season was a bit like, rather than uh, being. Uh, oh, uh, I sound very quiet for some reason. Mm, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Why am I so quiet? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It, in fact, it could be the volume. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, uh, I've already forgotten what we were talking about. Um, speed. Yes. So the speed that everyone was going at was insane. But I, I, I feel like it's this episode was like this whole season was like for the fans and I don't really feel like it was f- for story because uh, like up until this point we haven't really seen that much of the White Walkers at yeah. all and now it's all just like oh the fans want White Walkers so we'll just cram as much White Walkers as we possibly can in a very yeah. short amount of time I don't know like, yeah, no. there's so many of them and they've <coughs> and taken a million years to get to where they are exactly it's from the there. last episode I I have got that like it's kind of hmm playing to the fans a little bit. And they're reading fan, fan theories. and uh... Well, it might always have been that they were going to do it that way because the amount of theories that have been going on, people are bound to hit on something yeah, that's true. right. Yeah. Um, but... Can't argue with that. Personally, I think they should have finished it at episode six. That was my... That was my favourite episode... And that was, I think, a really good finale episode. They went. This yeah. one was too. The the one that they finished on was not a good finale episode. Literally, the entire purpose of that episode, the last episode, was to was to queue up for the next season. Pretty much, yeah. Like, like get everybody where they're supposed to be. Yeah. And go. I mean, great, but also, you know, like, like back to. Uh, American Gods, same thing. Like, when you have a last episode that its only purpose is to queue up the next season, it's just like, yeah. what? What? No, I want to see some stuff now. Yeah. We know the Odin. We've literally known for the entire season. Just fucking give do, us what we want. Do something. Also, um, uh, if you haven't heard our <laughs> American Gods episode, please do. It was episode six or something. Don't remember. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um... Yes. Uh, absolutely. Like, Game of Thrones as a series as a whole, there's some really cool like, ideas in there. Like, shall we talk about some of the, from the book that they didn't use in the series so far? I mean, I mostly, at the moment, mean uh, Caitlin. Caitlin Stark. Catelyn Stark? No, I think it's Caitlin Stark. Catelyn. I mean, it's, okay, I guess it's the same, but well, with They all call accents. her Cat, don't they? 
Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, because in the book... But she doesn't really do much in the book anyway. You see her for about... Like... Well, talk about what she does in the uh, book. So, so when she, she, she dies when in both. She d- when she, she... When she dies in the TV series, that's it. She's done. When she dies in the book, the... Brothers, whatever they're called, the Brotherhood, I can't remember what they're called, led by old um, Beric Dondarrion, find her. The, the the people who place themselves on the Law of Light. Yeah, no they place. find her yeah. in a river and they bring her back to life and she becomes Lady... Greystone or Greystone. something. But she doesn't really do anything in the books other sure. than you see her like once and she sort of tries to talk and then that's about it really. So I'd, I'd, again, Lady, I don't... Lady Stoneheart, there you go, le- sorry. Yeah, again, I don't know if she's going to be, like, if it's a more relevant character later on in the books. Yeah. But what, as we've seen her in the books... She doesn't really do much. She is just... She, is she, like is she you, herself? That's you the see, question, I guess. No. no. She is out for revenge. That's it. So, what, so I guess she's still sort of herself. She's like a no, vengeful no. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. she's nothing She's nothing of Captain Stark at all. Because she can't talk. Yeah. And she just wants to like sure. kill people. No, no. I, I just sort of had like... If you came back to life and you had nothing of yourself, then you would have no one to want revenge against. That's all. Well, yeah. I think she's just like a vessel, more like. Oh, she's I'd, just gonna kill random people. Well, I don't. I don't yeah. really know, like. I don't think it's really. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It, it, but I just. I'm, I don't think there's much of like. I'm basically, as far as I'm concerned, you're George R. R. Martin because you read the books. So okay. I'm just gonna demand things. Okay. And you just have to just tell me to shut up. It's okay. Fine. <laughs> but yeah. But I don't think, I don't think she would have added anything. I'm just, you know, I mean, if they if... um to bring her into the TV series anyway, like sure, they had that character in Beric Dondarrion, yeah, and like that's kind of all they needed because he has much more of a I just presence I... in the books anyway. I just like in a sort of Chekhov's gun kind of a way. I feel like she's George R. R. Martin might have a. A plot reason for her to exist. Well, she so, yeah, so she she, pro- to... she probably does, but no I'm one so... knows what it is at the moment. No, so like, but maybe the people who wrote the TV show series should yeah, know. That's yeah, what I'm but I don't, I don't think I, she would have added anything. I would have loved, it. I'd love to see her on the front lines fighting the fight the White Walkers with her magical powers. I saw. But I don't, saying. I don't think she, I don't think she has magical power. Like, yeah, she's right, just, okay. she's just <laughs> a person like Beric Dondarrion is just a person that can come back from the dead. Like, he doesn't yeah. have any, like, magical... Other than making his sword... Set on fire, which is kind of a fire, cool practical effect. Which is cool <laughs> for the White Walkers. Yeah. But she's just a dead person with a big gash through her throat. Just like, exists. To, I think, kind of just like to kill... Kind Benjen Stark, uh, kind of. Yeah. He's just there. And that's it, that you've got Benjen Stark as well. Who, who is a much bigger character... Than he is in the book, so I think between mm, Benjamin sure. Stark and Beric, Don, you've got it covered. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. You know, yeah. I'm. Um, but I mean, other than that, you know, the characters are sort of shuffle around more or less the way the books have intended them. I don't. Like, I nobody... think the biggest, the biggest change that I can remember yeah. is Sansa, sure. like her. Her plot is very, very different. She never... Carry on speaking for a moment. She... Distract. Never... What's wrong? Don't freak out. What is it? It's a massive spider. Okay. We just have to go and sort a spider out. We'll be back in a minute. Right, back from saving the world. Yay! It's gonna go ahead and... After spider crisis, I can't remember what we were talking about. Uh, so do you want to talk about specific <laughs> episodes? Um, yeah, or I want to. Like, the series as a whole, it has been fine. The uh, Like I was saying before, the 
things that I like about the series mostly um, the the sort of medieval kingdom politics cross supernatural thing that that that's always pretty good like, yeah and it's really high budget show it's really good to watch like the CG never never feels like really obviously terrible mm. overall it's pretty great mm -hmm. um so yay I guess uh, this season um kicks off with Daenerys coming to Dragonstone right I uh, is you've that, got is the, that episode one? You've got the. I know. I'm trying to list. jog your memory. I can't. Uh, I can't. Like, I can remember the basic, but I can't remember exactly what happens. Well, well, episode one kicks off with Arya killing everyone else from House Frey. Yeah. Um, she puts a face on. Oh no, she she poisons them, doesn't she? Dressed as Walder Frey, I believe. For the... Could, did she kill Walder Frey in the last series, or did she do that in the? Yeah, film? I think she does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then she poisons them all. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty epic. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was good. Um, it's mostly mostly boring stuff at the wall and mm -hmm. um Samwell at the citadel um oh yeah because he he goes he, to the citadel and then comes back from the citadel yeah he wants to be a maester his story his story was pretty cool though because he fixes old um Jorah Jor Jor Mormont Jor up doesn't he he cures yeah. him of his grayscale which is kind of which amazing is, which is yeah really cool and uh, also gross so gross. Oh, it was really, yeah. But <laughs> no, he, yeah. So it he's was, cured, it was and Samuel finds out his big revelation of news. Yeah, that, well, there are two that Samuel finds. So Samuel's sort of the bringer of information, I guess. Yeah. He <laughs> finds out that dragon <coughs> glass is a right? big dragon glass deposit, deposit on Dragonstone, dragon stone, which yeah. is the whole reason why... Jon Snow starts going there anyway. Yeah, absolutely. That, and, and Dragonstone is where Daenerys' first port of call is when she arrives yeah. in Westeros. Yeah. And then he also finds out the um, lineage of Jon Snow, that he's yes. not a bastard at all, that he's Targaryen... Blood, yeah. Blood. Pure. Well, I mean, you know, they, they got married in secret, which I see... I'm still... Okay. Shall we talk about this? It's because it's fresh on our brains. So, in the, the, somewhere in season seven or before that, Bran has a vision about Jon Snow's birth. And we so can that's see, the end of season yeah. six. And we see his mother, Lyanna Stark, and uh, she gives away her baby to Ned Stark and tells him to protect him. So, not actually Ned's son at all, and not a bastard. Contrary to Kate, what Catelyn believed. Um, yeah, an own flesh and blood full Targaryen. He's a, he's a Targaryen. Aegon Targaryen is his name, apparently, because we yeah. also see that from Bran's vision. So, he is, if I'm right, he's named after the Mad King. He was it's, Aegon Targaryen. That sounds right, yeah. Wasn't he? That sounds right. So, that's going to be interesting but then it also throws in that he is more legitimate to the throne than Daenerys is because he's the son of Rhaegar yeah he has more um yeah he outranks her yeah for the claim to the throne absolutely so that um could be interesting. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, pretty much Bran and um, Bran and Sam, their entire purpose is to just be like, here's some information when you need it. Mm. Although, you know, Bran could probably have just told them everything that's happening all over the world all the time. That'd be super yeah. useful. Okay, so this is what annoys me. <laughs> this is what annoys me about this. Like, <coughs> why does he not just find that stuff out sooner? Like, do like, use his power whenever they want him to. Like, he's... Yeah. Why did he not tell everybody that they were going to break the wall down? 
Like, yeah, he got, absolutely. Surely he's paying close attention to the White Walkers, or is he so, like, brain dumb now? Yeah, as, that, a, as, like, a, as a three-eyed he, raven, he doesn't he really... He feels that, like, it's above him or below him to, like, help people. I don't know. I'm, yeah. He annoys no, me. Absolutely. And also, Ari is annoying me a little bit this... <laughs> and Sansa. Well, you know I was what? liking Sansa. Yeah. And now I'm not liking her so much. And again, was liking Arya, not liking her so much. Well, you know why? Is because this entire again, this entire season seems to be getting Jon Snow teamed up with Daenerys. So they've got nothing to do in Winterfell. They have to kind of make up problems for them for yeah. our area to It's do. either stuff happening at the wall yeah. or stuff happening somewhere like and yeah. Winterfell just sort of muddles along in the middle and picks yeah. up the pieces. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Although, talking of Winterfell, can we talk about Peter Baelish's comeuppance? Yeah, all right. That was... I didn't like much of the final episode but he has had that come in since day <laughs> one yeah. he's been manipulating everybody and bless her Sansa she has taken it and taken it and taken it and yeah. I was just halfway through season seven I was like what are you doing you know what he's like yeah yeah 100% <laughs> and she just flips it on him and then Arya does what she does best, kills people. Sisters, those two I think, for the next series are going to be an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sansa's going to be the figurehead and Arya's going to be in the background Killing doing people. her little well not even <laughs> but, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. necessarily killing people but you know keeping what she'd be an amazing spy yeah so um yeah absolutely uh and you know while we're on the subject of the sisters probably one of our favorite bits of the series was was a little brian brian of tarth versus Arya little fight oh there. that was yeah that was, that was good wasn't it because they're, they're both pretty much like oh we're just really good at fighting and then and then, they match each other, don't yeah, they? With their different styles. Yeah. Ah, has got very much a, a rapier style with her with her needle, and um, Brienne is very much. It's it's like an aggressive. Broad she sword. uses she uses her body. Yeah. Well, actually, they both. They That's, both use their bodies in different ways. She is big. Brienne is big. She's wide. She has quite a manly in a way stance you know she's got broad shoulders yeah, very so she can of, use yeah. her strength that's what I meant I didn't mean manly I meant strength yeah yeah she can Sorry. use her strength to her advantage yeah absolutely. whereas um, Arya oh. is small so she can weave and giant and you know it's just quick and quick brutal yeah absolutely she is um, yeah yeah and it was uh, it was very fun. I mean, Arya pretty much confirmed that she she's just mental in this series, didn't she? Yeah, she's just lost all the plot, you know. Except until the end, where she sort of redeemed herself by agreeing with her sister that they should be a team. But like, oh my god, that when they were there was it the previous episode or the previous episode? I think um, just, just one before the last one. She, she basically just like. like threatens Sansa's life. But now, after what we've seen, I wonder if it was all a bit of a ruse. No, oh, maybe. Just so that he was safe. Like, well, yeah, whether, you know, because she had the idea that Peter Bait, like, because of what we saw in season, um, in the last episode, yeah, like, yeah. how much of that you can actually believe or, and whether they were just manipulating Peter Baelish yeah. to, to maybe reveal things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's... 
It's a good point. I mean, uh, maybe they were putting on a show for his spies or even him. Yeah. Yeah, completely. I'll tell you whose story I have liked this season. Okay. Theon Greyjoy. Oh, yeah. Sure. He start, you know, he started off the season. He bent his knee to Daenerys and he had his sister with him and they were back together. And they had... Yeah, gone to Daenerys, they were going to fight for her, and then that battle occurred against their uncle. The crazy one with the beard. I can't remember his name. Mm. So he's working with he Cersei. He works with Cersei. Because he just doesn't give a shit. And he is, well, king of the Iron Isles. Oh, yeah, because there are, um, no one else is there, so who cares? Ah. Uh, I want to say it's another, like, A name or an E name. Euron. Yeah. Euron, there we go. Euron. So, Euron's mental. Wants just, to marry the... Just to point out, Laura did not use Wikipedia. She just remembered that. Very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, wants to marry the Queen. He's also pretty... Let's just do the Greyjoys as a, yeah, yeah, as yeah, a yeah. whole. He's funny as well. All the quips that he was making to Jamie he... about... Um, Oh, you'll have to tell me how to please her and blah, blah, blah. blah. He just <laughs> doesn't. Brutal. He just doesn't care. Yeah. <clears throat> and so they have this big Absolutely. battle at sea and Daenerys' ships are all but wiped out. And and, and these are the, the Dornish supporters that she has, right? Yeah. They, they're, they're all the Dornish. The Sand Vipers? I've literally forgot what they're called. Sand Viper yeah. sounds right. I yeah. don't know. The... The Lady of Dawn and her team of female assassins, basically. Her daughters. Her team of female assassin daughters. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> who are all, all, who were very cool up until this point and now are all dead, I think. Um, that was the, brutal, that whole thing. They got, uh, yeah, they got blitz attacked it on the ocean. It was amazing. The... Because Theon... You're confusing me now. Sorry, sorry. Because you were talking about how Theon was yeah, great. Yeah, so if sorry. Theon... Theon loses his... Sh- Euron kidnapped Yara. Yeah. And gives Theon the opportunity to save her. And he is a coward and jumps shit. Well, sort of, because he had a knife to her throat. It's a bit unfair, I think. Because he could have literally just, as soon as Theon moved, yeah. just kill her straight away. Yeah. I mean, holy shit, that's so not a good jumps ship. choice. And then Euron takes Yara, who, as we have it, is still alive. Yeah, we don't know what happened to her yet. Then one of the daughters, and... And the mum. Her name is something Sand. That's gone from my brain. And Cersei, because she is mental as anything yeah. decides that the way she's going to punish these two Dornish is to chain them up just so close to each other that they can't quite touch and she basically poisons the what is her name well okay so we have two names because I'm looking at the uh, Wikipedia for episode yes. list right now Ilaria and Tien Ilaria is the mum. Okay. Tien is the daughter. I have no idea if that's so how they were Il- pronounced. Ilania. Ilaria. Ilaria um, basically watches her daughter die of the same way that she killed C- Cersei's daughter. Yeah. Marcella. Yeah. With this poison. Poison on the lips thing. Yeah. That, um, because that's how um, Ila kills people, just in general. No, kills Cersei's daughter. Yeah, she gives okay. her a kiss goodbye, okay. puts her on a ship, and by the time she gets back, she's dead. Yeah. Because sure. it's that yeah, kiss yeah. that killed her. So that's why she does it the same way. And then, as far as it is, still, Ilaria is still alive because Cersei was leaving her in there. To starve to death and watch her... To, no, not to not starve to, to death. To, no, to watch right. her daughter 
decomposed, rot, basically. Yeah. And then... Lovely. We don't see much of Theon for a little while. No, absolutely. And then when everything happens where they all get together, so Jon Snow, Daenerys, Cersei, Tyrion, all the gang, um, <laughs> Davos, the Hounds there. All at Dragonstone. No, they're all at King's Landing. Ah, uh, yes. So when they have the big meeting. So yes, they have the meeting Theon, with Cersei. Theon gets his big boy pants on, doesn't he? Yeah. And he decides that he's going to go and save Yara. Basically ask Jon Snow's permission and he's like... What are you doing here, well, mate? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> and um, he goes and beats up the Iron Islanders because they try and kick him in the ghoulies and he hasn't got any. Yeah. And then he pounds them. That's, yeah. So it looks like he's... Although he hasn't got any, he's got his balls back. <laughs> yep, absolutely. But... Because, yeah. again, bless Jon Snow, but I feel like he's a, he's a, I respect his honesty and wanting to do everything the right way, oh. but it's kind of frustrating because just Cersei like... could have had him killed like 1800 times. But yeah, they, they go for, a, they agree, all agree a meeting to go and like basically form a truce so they can fight the zombies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but then, uh, that, just the whole time that they're at King's Landing, I'm like, they're all going to die. What are they doing? Yeah. Cersei has already made everyone go into a meeting room, blow them up. Cersei is absolutely nuts. It's not a meeting room, is it? It was the... Citadel. Citadel. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Cersei, she's actually lost the plot. Yeah. She's got no one now. She's sent... Uh, she got, she got Kyburn and that's it. Because Jamie's gone. Yep. And I reckon... People, people. I don't reckon people in Killing Landing like her much as probably it is. Not, probably not. And when they hear what she's done, like gone back on her word, I think that's gonna just like completely throw them over the edge. What a mess! But, yeah. Yeah. Jamie's gone off. I guess. Cause, yeah. Cause, to go and help. Because. Near the wall, because th- Cersei agreed to help them fight the White Walkers. Is a truce, and then just just decided went back on it immediately. Yeah. But then Jamie was like, no, I'm honourable or something. Threatens to kill both of her brothers and can't do either of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's so, kind of fucked up. The Mounted could easily just kill them. I don't know why. Well, like, Cersei's obviously a bit mental. Yeah. She's going through some stuff. She's preggers, you know. That's a bit messed up as well. With another one of the bloody blonde-haired kitties. Yeah, so... Who knows what's going to go on. Um, yeah, who knows? Um, but God, yeah, we've we've already talked, I think, for ages. But um, uh, about, we've got about mention, the series, we've got to well. mention the dragons too. Yeah, absolutely, because because uh, we've already said it already. But yeah, so Jon Snow took a whole bunch of people beyond the wall to, to, to have a look at the White Walkers. I don't know really to, what the plan to was to get a White Walker. They oh, were, that's right, because they, they need to they prove it to a White Cersei. Walker. To show Cersei so she would help them. Yeah, and uh, so they're all like, I'm sorry, you're just going to grab a white walker, no worries. Um, they're all lying about everywhere. Um, but, and, she, uh, and then they all, there are millions of them, they all attack. Gendry runs off, brings them back. We literally just spoke about this, sorry, I don't know why I'm recapping. Um, and then during that bit, when Daenerys saves them with her three dragons. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Which one goes White down? Walker throws the, it. Viset. The Night King. I think it was specifically at Kiel. Well, yeah, but he's a White Walker, so yeah, fair. No, I'm fair. not technically wrong. We're not discriminating. <laughs> um, throws it. Chucks a big old javelin. And kills it. So Daenerys stinks. But then drags it out. But... Where does he get chains from, for a start? <laughs> so this is something Anna Lee said, my friend Anna Lee. She, she was like, do they just wander around carrying around big, massive chains capable yeah. of lifting dragons yeah. out of ice? where do they get the chains from? <laughs> and also... And just drag a dead this is another, dragon out of the this fucking This is water. another thing. They say that... Um, Uh, White Walkers, um, the 
dead ones can't swim. Yeah. Well, how did they get the chains on him? Yeah, absolutely. None of that makes any sense. So that didn't make any sense. Unless the Night King cans on him. And he's the... Oh, so maybe the White Walkers can swim, but those... Yeah. What are they called Whites. Whites. Called whites. So maybe they can't swim, but... Make, my, can I just make my joke? Go on. All right, it's terrible, but maybe the Night King, because it was all over Facebook, was um, not only gold record javelin holder, but gold record swimmer. Maybe. But, um, but yeah, that <laughs> was just, like... Javelin funny. Didn't... Hilarious make any sense to me mm, that's true that doesn't so, make like how, how yeah how do that they get the definitely shrink, a shortcut and how do they attach it to the dragon but dragon the the fire icy blue effect thing was pretty cool yeah because he uh, i guess he he has to touch a dragon because it's magical usually he just kills something and it yeah, comes back as a then, dead thing but then does it like is it gone for this is my thing it's which, is it gone forever is one thing can Daenerys bring it back yeah because obviously Benjamin Stark was sort of brought back yeah so maybe it can be redeemed um but oh I've forgotten what I was going to say now there was something about the dragons the other ones must be sad that their buddy died. Which one was it? Viserion yeah. died. Yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted to say about the dragons. She sort of deserved it. Yeah. Because sure. she was flaunting them around. She had already had a close scrape with the battle that the Tarleys died in. Yeah. Where I thought, um, and that annoyed me as well. Where they got the big crossbow out. Where they got the big crossbow out. Bronn got the crossbow and damaged yeah. the dragon. So you'd think, she'd think, oh, be a bit careful, yeah. they can be damaged. But then, no, she goes lording it around again. <laughs> so actually, she sort of deserves to have lost one of them, really, because she didn't take care of them. Animal rights and all that, you know. She didn't take care of them at all. But that was another thing. That battle, when you're like, oh, my God... Is Jamie going to die? You know, you see him like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then... They just use that as a, like a weird way to cut the episode. And then he's just fine at the end yeah. of the next episode. That was annoying. That was, uh, that was quite fun. Not but, happy um, with the fact... Annoying. I know it was bound to happen, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Jon Snow and Daenerys getting together. Why? They're related. It's, yeah, it's weird now. Cause, I, yeah. don't, I don't want it. She, his, his aunt. And, and then are they going to have a baby... Because he's dead and she's barren. So obviously they're going to have a weird White Walker baby or something. I don't know. Maybe they're going to have another Benjamin Stark. But it's just weird. It is weird. I don't like that bit. I mean... I mean, what that we've learned from Game of Thrones is that incest is fine. I think that's Well, yeah, I mean. but... <laughs> I don't know. I just, no, it's so gross. It's so I weird. Just don't I'm sorry. Want it. There was a, I think you can only have one incestuous family... In any one TV show. Fair enough. And the Lannisters are walking all over that. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. I know they don't know that they're related yet, but still, he's dead. She's like... Oh, Bit weird. She's a dragon. Also, I really wish that Jon Snow was capable of putting his hands by his... Arms by his sides. Oh, he's not, he's just he? he walks around he, he, like... He's like a rugby player, isn't he? <laughs> his shoulders are bared all the time and his arms are sort of sticking out and his hands are always in fists. He, walk... he must have so many neck problems he looks... from being so tense all yeah. the time. He, yeah, yeah, honestly. It, how he probably looks like it. I mean, I like... It's the... all that fur. That it could... <laughs> That's another thing. Why? He was in King's Landing. Yeah. King's Landing is south. King's Landing is warm. Lovely warm. <laughs> Why is he still wearing all his fur? He wants to represent. He, he's all wrapped up. He must be baking under that. Oh, uh, well, he soon gets his kit on, doesn't he? Dribbling it. That was on when he was on the boat. Oh, that's true, yeah. I don't know where he was. Somewhere up the... Vine <laughs> or whatever. I was trying not to make a joke about somewhere up the... Um, Gross. I don't know. That was weird. Um, so Davos Seaworth got a good little uh, yeah. series, didn't he? We like a bit of Davos. FYI, my absolute favourite character in the books. The Onion Knight. The Onion Knight. 
And he's been getting some good screen time this series. Some getting some good little one liners in. The yeah. old Gendry I told him not to tell you that. <laughs> Just go around telling everyone he's a bastard. Oh, so good. Yeah, it was alright this series. Yeah. Anything more you wish to say? <laughs> oh god, no, not really. I'm not even sure. I'm sort of a bit annoyed that she didn't be- really become a faceless person because she's still she's supposed to give up herself to but become a nev- faceless that, assassin. But that's it. She was never going to give up herself. No. Well, and the, that's yeah. why she didn't become a fake could because she I guess she trained still. So she's still pretty good, but she's yeah. not as good as a faceless well, I think she's basically a faceless man, but she just didn't want to give up yeah, I guess. her. So she can do everything, but the whole point of them is that they are nobody, yeah. and she would always be Arya Stark. She could never give the heart up. So I think she has the best of both worlds, really. Yeah, it's both. The fact that she can change her face at whim, but also she has a reason... For doing stuff. It still weirds me out. And I, is, like, I, like, is it magical? Kind of. Because she speaks like them. And changes her the size of herself. Depending on who she is. Yeah. Like it's sort I, of magical. I, I think there must be some magic. Because like when you see the... So, Dario. Yeah. He literally like shimmers, and his face changes. Oh sure. So I think there must be some sort of magic. Maybe it starts off less. Yeah. Than that, but or maybe it's that whole thing of perception that changes everything. Like. Yeah. If you, you know, people don't see, they see what they expect to see. Yeah, yeah. So actually, she might not, you know, she might just have put his face on. She might not be any different in height. It's just how she holds herself. Because yeah. she sat down. True. Well, especially With, when she's walled afraid. Walled yeah. afraid. So actually, That's true. you know, she can manipulate it potentially and maybe that's what it is it's manipulation no that's fair yeah, yeah, yeah but absolutely I, I've it's never really gone into such detail as like whether or not it's magic yeah they put you know because I think she's a great character bricks in their shoes even if she's a psycho and I think so- Sansa's became slightly more interesting and then less interesting when they were pitting themselves off each other. But then again, you know, sort of she recovers a bit at the end. Yeah. But I want her to be as confident as she sometimes is all the time when she's yeah. leading. Because she's got that strength. And uh, they downplay it, I think, when they want to make the story more interesting. And yeah. I just think that's unfair to her character because yeah. I think she's supposed to she's be stronger one of, than that. She's one of these ones that, yeah, they dampen her down when someone else comes in yeah, like when Jon Snow comes in they sort of like yeah dampen yeah. her a bit the only bit that I really liked with her and Arya was uh, well the, apart from the end bit which was really great with Peter Baelish was um, when they first met reunited that was great because mm-hmm. it, that felt genuine as well like, yeah that, that's what I read that's why it's a shame that's when they what I read them. somewhere that this season of Game of Thrones has done the sibling meet and greet really well so like yeah the scenes when Sansa and Jon Snow reunite and then leave is really like yeah. it's what's the word uh, it's quite genuine heartfelt I don't no, know I'm just saying it's words un unobtrusive is not the right word but but it's genuine. It's like natural. Right? Yeah. It's being very... And then like when they meet and then when Bran comes back and even though he's weird, they're like, well, <laughs> he's true. still a Stark, so... So you know, Bran, you're weird, I'm sorry. He's their brother. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, basically, uh, we're still very much enjoying it, I suppose that's the main thing. Season yeah. 7. Looking forward to season 8. 
Even though it's only going to be six episodes. And it's not going to be till 2019, I heard. Uh, Are they going to fit in a spin-off between... I don't or know. is that going to be afterwards? So I'd we'll wait to... two years. I really would love to see a spin-off in between, but I honestly don't think... Well, oh. we say two years. It's nearly 2018. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I can do that. Um, because this is our... Game of Thrones episode. Do you want to talk about anything else that we that was, that was great? Or I mean, this this whole this whole series as a whole, one to seven, has done a pretty good job of making you hate the villains more than anything else. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. Like, Joff, I hate all the villains. Joffrey was the worst person, and then Ramsay Snow was the worst person. Oh. And they just keep just bringing out worse people. Worser is definitely a word. Worser is definitely a word. Yeah. Um, can we discuss how I nearly had a f- seizure when I thought Tormund was going to die? Oh, God, yeah, there was that bit where he'd be grabbed by a couple of White Walkers. And the fact that he was just, like, going, please help me, please help! I oh, literally thought that he was going to die. absolutely, that, I couldn't, couldn't cope with that. They chickened out of that one, I don't know why, they killed everyone else. But we want we, we want him to live. I do not want him want, to die. Because we want him and Bria to have babies. Oh, because yeah, they need to have a little... He absolutely is See, obsessed that's a, with her. that's a couple that I can be on board with. N- none of this Jon Snow Daenerys. No, Tormund Brienne. Hashtag Get... Tormund Brienne. Hashtag... Tormund Bremond. Loves... Bremond. <laughs> I like it. Bremond. Hashtag Bremond. Yeah. Power couple for the new... Game of yeah. Thrones season. Get away, Kim Ye. <laughs> it's all about. I've forgotten it already. <laughs> Bremen. <laughs> Bremen. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a type of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite. Right, I guess I have done it, I suppose. <coughs> yeah, now uh, we've we discussed could... cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can ramble all about Game of Thrones forever, but we're not going to. No. Um. We have been the guy of floor. I don't know. Thought that was a weird outro. Um, we have been. As always, um, like to thank um, Ten Years Gone for our opening music. Uh, he's great. Find him on Twitter. His beard is beautiful. I am Ten Years Gone. Uh, he has um, a profile picture, yes, of his lovely beard. Um, you can see from his polarized. Um, Twitter profile picture at I am 10 years gone no spaces uh, he's 10 years gone no spaces on everything else Spotify Apple Music uh, if you like the sounds of his stuff you can check him out and buy his stuff so you should totally do that he's great I buy his stuff all the time even if I don't have to because he's my friend and he'll give it to me for free um, well he better anyway <laughs> uh, we are at CR Floor Pod on Twitter tweet us with your favourite Game of Thrones moments or don't or Tell us we're wrong about this entire series and tell us there's a better series. Let us know your thoughts. Um, also, we're doing, like, we try and do a, a Monday to Friday random incongruous comic book picture on our Twitter and on our Facebook of just, like, silly things, out-of-context comics. Um, if you if you think they're fun, uh, you can always join us on Facebook.com uh, slash TCRFpod. And Twitter, and even post your own if you want to. Tag us, hashtag um, Out of Context Comics. We'll um, we'll check those out. Uh, that's just something fun we just did that I've decided we're going to do forever. Uh, Monday to Friday, mostly, because the weekends are off for us. Uh, hmm. <laughs> um, we are also on uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash tcrfpod. If you like what we do and you want to support us, that'd be great. Check out the Patreon. That's it, really. Easy peasy. Jobs are good. And, um, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Every other British expression. You're right, I'm sorry. That's a bit lame. Uh, <laughs> Go I, down the apples and pears. <laughs> to the dog and bone. Nice. I think we nailed it. Yep. Um, right, that, that's that's it now. We're going to go now. Goodbye. Bye-bye now. Goodbye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.